Sully was the top scarer at Monsters Inc. He worked on the scare floor with his one-eyed friend Mike, who was a scare assistant. Sully's job was to scare human children. First, Mike would set up a closet door for Sully to walk through. Once a red light came on, Sully opened the door and stepped into a bedroom. Then he frightened the children inside until they screamed loudly. Next, Mike captured the screams and sent them to the Monsters Inc. factory. There, the screams were converted into energy, such as fuel for cars or power for lights. The whole city of Monstropolis used energy from the factory. One night, Sully was heading home at the end of his shift. As he walked past the scare floor, he noticed a door was still out. He thought that was odd, since the doors were usually put away at night. He opened it and peeked inside to make sure a monster wasn't still working. Is anybody there? He asked. No one answered, so he closed the door. Boo! Something said. It was a little girl, and she was on the scare floor. Ah! Sally screamed. Every monster knew that nothing from the human world was allowed into Monstropolis. It was too dangerous for monsters. Recently, a monster had returned from an assignment with a sock stuck to him. A whole squad had been brought in to decontaminate him. And now, a little girl was in Monstropolis. Sully knew he had to get her out of here before anyone saw her. Sally tried to put the girl back into her room. Every time he thought he had, she sneaked back to the scare floor. Kitty, she called to Sally. The monster had to do something fast. If anyone found out about her, he could lose his job. There was only one monster Sally could talk to. His best friend and roommate, Mike. So Sally put the little girl in a bag and sneaked her out of the building. When Sally got to the apartment, he took the girl out of the bag. Her name is Boo, he explained. You named it? cried Mike. He knew that the girl was dangerous and that he and Sally would get into a lot of trouble if anyone found out about her. Mike came up with a plan. Tomorrow, they would drive her to the park and try to lose her. That night, Sally and Mike peeked in on Boo while she was sleeping. She was snuggled up with Mike's teddy bear. It's hard to believe she's dangerous, said Sally. Mike didn't care how nice she looked. Hey, he said. That's my bear. Don't worry about it, Sally said. The next morning, Sally and Mike made a disguise for Boo, a monster costume. Be careful, Mike cried. Don't let that kid touch anything. They drove to the park and Sally and Mike got out of the car. When Mike tried to open the door for Boo, he couldn't. She'd locked herself in. We have to get her out, Mike said angrily. Sully had an idea. He found his spare tire in the trunk and squished Mike into the middle of it. Then he rolled it around. Fun, he exclaimed, trying to get Boo's attention. Yeah, fun, Mike grumbled. Boo just sat in the car. Next, Sally took out the car jack and cranked Mike up and down. Whoa, Mike yelled. 
This just keeps getting better. Boo still didn't come out. She was too busy playing with Mike's bear. Then, Sully swung Mike around in circles. Don't you want to play, Boo? He called. But Boo just waved at them. What do we do now? Mike asked. Suddenly, a monster butterfly flew past the car window. Boo smiled and pointed. Then she opened the car door and ran after it. The butterfly landed on a fountain and Boo tried to catch it. But the butterfly was too fast. It flew into the woods and the little girl followed it. Mike grabbed Sully's arm. Now is our chance, Sully, he shouted. Let's go. Mike tried to start the car, but it was out of gas. Sully didn't care. He missed Boo already. Then he thought of something. If Mike thought they needed Boo, Sully could get her back. We need to find Boo, he exclaimed. Her scream will start the car. He grabbed Mike's teddy bear and ran into the woods. Boo, he called. I have your teddy bear. Sally looked and looked, but Boo was nowhere to be found. Was she gone forever? Kitty, a small voice finally said. It was Boo. She ran towards Sally and hugged his leg. The monster smiled. She did not seem dangerous at all. Sally and Boo walked back to the car together. You're holding its hand, Mike cried when he saw them. Sully smiled. I know, he said. I feel okay though. He helped Boo into the car. Then he got in too. Mike turned to his best friend. Okay, Sully, he said. You are the best scarer at Monsters, Inc. Do your stuff. Sally looked at Boo. She smiled back at him. He opened his mouth to roar, but he couldn't do it. He just couldn't frighten little Boo. Just scare it now, yelled Mike. He hanged his head on the steering wheel and hit the horn by accident. Honk! Ouch! Mike shouted. He he he! Boo began to laugh. She laughed and laughed and laughed. And suddenly, the engine started. Vroom vroom! Mike and Sally looked at each other. How had that happened? Mike looked at Boo. Somehow, her laugh must have started the car. Sally was right. She didn't seem dangerous. Okay, Mike said. She can stay for now. But just remember, that's my bear. The End <laughs>